Teams have to get down to 80 men on the rooster by 3 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday. The Minnesota Fighting Vikings got a head start Sunday night by waving cornerback Dylan Mabin as well as wide receiver Warren Jackson. And there's no designation on either of them, so they won't revert back to IR if unclaimed, uh, like Blake Prohl was last week. So it is an outright release. Dylan Mabin was a 2019 UDFA coming out of Fordham. Go Rams. The Vikings signed him last season after he was let go by the Raiders midseason. Uh, the Vikings had some serious cornerback depth issues. Remember tackling machine Chris Jones? Who? Uh, he ended up playing 34 total snaps for the Vikings over three games in 2020, mainly on special teams. He played 61 snaps over the two preseason games, but was pretty eh, and was buried by veterans on the cornerback depth chart. Warren Jackson was a 2021 UDFA coming out of Colorado State, former teammates of BC Johnson. Back in the day. Six foot six, 219. Kirk needs a towel receiver and had a cup of coffee with the Broncos earlier in this offseason. Was signed on August 9th after the BC Johnson injury. Played one snap against the Broncos in the first preseason game, seven snaps versus the Colts in the second. Had one target, zero catches. And the wide receiver room is pretty condensed on the back end with Chisena and Mitchell and Watt Fillior competing for practice squad spots. I think one through six are pretty well spoken for on the Vikings wide receiver depth chart. Uh, the Vikings need to make three more moves by tomorrow tomorrow afternoon to get to 80. I suspect quarterback is probably going to be one of them. There's no need to hang on to Nate Stanley and Denny Etling. Uh, we'll see. Now, there have been some speculation that maybe they'll put Anthony Barr or Christian Derrissaw on injured reserve if they're not going to be ready to start the season. But if they do go down that route, they'll do it at the last possible second. They'll wait till the Wednesday before the season opener against Cincinnati because there's no benefit from doing it now. Yes, you save a roster spot, but you can just cut a dude who's not going to make the team or the practice squad anyway because that three-week window to get them back on the field only counts in the regular season you don't get credit for putting them on now so uh, we'll see what happens but uh, Vikings gotta make a couple more moves and we'll be on top of it here uh, but your thoughts Vikings waving cornerback Dylan Mabin and wide receiver Warren Jackson let us know in the comment section below subscribe for daily Vikings takes one sport that work pulls on the Venmo but till next time Skull production value